and the model is going to be based on Stan, one of the most complete T-Rex skulls ever found. It'll be made by hand, faithfully following the proportions of the T-Rex fossil. And during its construction, scientists will be consulted every step of the way to ensure we get it right. Our model will have to be incredibly strong because we know that when T-Rex was feeding, it could bite right through bone. How much force should we use to power its jaws? The scientists can tell from the skeleton that T-Rex had huge jaw muscles. But before we can test whether T-Rex was tough enough to take on a living Triceratops, we need to know exactly how powerful these muscles were. So, based on his work with alligators, Greg calculated that Stan here would have had a bite force of at least four tons. That's 8,000 pounds, or would you believe this, 35,000 newtons. Now, of course, this means absolutely nothing to me, but what I do know is the bone would have had to be so strong that the only way that we can replicate it is by using steel. So, Stan, meet Dan. Steely Dan? No. Anyway, the muscles to operate these jaws would have had to be massive, and we've had to use sort of a hydraulic piston. Okay, then. I think it's time to give the dog a bone. 